Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where last we left off we needed to go into that room. We need to do this. Um, I also need to switch out somebody for Will because I think we're getting closer and closer. Yeah, we're getting really close to Moonrise. We can explore a little further over here. It looks like there might be some stuff going on. But I do believe we've gotten the outer boundaries of most things. Um, which this is just like the beginning of Moonrise, it looks like. And then there's be it further in. Also, we need to go to camp. And uh, <laughs> Christopher commented saying that we should definitely try turning Halston into an owlbear and talking to our little owlbear cub. And I could not agree more. Um, but I'm going to open this first and see what's in here. Oh, this is this is what I saw. I saw this mark, so that need makes to find sense. A way or this, like, map distinction of continuing something or other. Waning moon consignment, stagger root, research notes, heavy chest. Do I have a key for this? What's inside? Ooh. What in here? When the wear deals acid damage, they also click noxious views. Don't I have those already or something like them? No one but I don't know, I have so many things. Place. I have so many armors and one stuff in this game. And like, I don't know, I don't have an acid build, you know? Oh, I'm like, or I don't have somebody that like regularly uses acid. So what's it what's what's it to me? Really? Let's read these. Oh, started a conversation, did I? Oh no! Oh no! Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distill a visible thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's Why? gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Visible devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients without success. Oh, that's just so After sad. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Visible required one last ingredient I... the petals of a corpse rose. I don't the book's want to do index that. reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs. Mausoleums and particularly redolent. Redolent, so like Visible nasty. Visible delisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients, and deliver them to a covert location. Ooh, am I gonna find it? Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Of course, of course it does. Investi Ooh, okay. Mentally separate the blank ink from the purple stain. Let's go, baby. I need bonuses. Oh, yes, I was destined, destined for this. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. Thank, thank you, me. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Visible's purple worm poison. Um, I don't want that, uh, but maybe it'll help against Kethrick. Brewed up belly glummer. Belly glummer, that is horrifying. Um, uh, map. Let's see, where do we... That's the hidden treasure. Where's... It's not over. Oh! Oh, shoot! Honestly, I was gonna check where this was, the mausoleum. I honestly assumed the mausoleum was somewhere down here. I'm glad I looked around for this. Um, the mausoleum, of course it's in the place that I don't really wanna go. Ugh. I thought I was supposed, to, maybe I'm misremembering what somebody told me. I'm sure that person's like, ah, <laughs> but I thought I was supposed to do moonrise first and then this. 
Okay, this is Editing Squirrel here. I was told last night when I was playing with my friends we're way further back, but uh, what Tully told me, because I was like, okay guys, <laughs> I have this thing going on with the mausoleum, and as you guys see, there's something to do with the secret in the basement, and I'm not gonna say exactly what it is, but uh, I haven't gotten too far. Apparently what I need to do though, is I need to go do the mausoleum, the upper floor, don't do too much of the bottom. I need to stop where I'm at and leave. And I need to go do Moonrise and then go finish what's in the basement. So Mausoleum, Top, Moonrise, and then the basement of the Mausoleum itself. So that's the plan right now, if I can remember it, please. <laughs> so there you go. We'll go back to the video now. Oh my gosh. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for whatever emotional damage is going to happen over here because I'm going to have to be a good person and freaking Asterian is going to be mad at me. This Brewer's Alchemical Sash. Okay, so I was thinking it might be... At first I was like, oh, there's this that cemetery that we found that's over here, right? Or like at least a burial ground, not really a cemetery. And then there's the one that's over here right that's right next to the house of healing but there's also the is this the mortuary is the mortuary i thought the mortuary was further in there maybe i missed this whatever this is i must have all right well we will go do that i love the detail on these maps so awesome well i'm hoping that this poison would potentially help us against Catherick Thorm, because I'm not really a poison person. Like, I don't really use it that often. I don't really think about it usually. So many rustic chests everywhere. Looks are poison resistance, yeah. Beware. Oh! This place is traps. That makes sense. Serpent fang. The fact that there is all this poison in a distillery is disturbing. I mean, given what he freaking does, it makes sense, but. Okay, wait, before I forget, let's read. I'm trying to read this as long as it doesn't spark something. The Waiting Moon's deliveries are recorded here in a careful hand. The rear pages, however, are devoted to the distiller's personal reflections. Father Catherick's re reach begins to extend beyond Raythan's borders. The thorns are but collectors, collectors of coin, glory, blood, and more yet. I, however, collected that which holds the most value, information. The mason caught my eye, straight are his steps and faithful are his words, for as long as drink does not touch his tongue. Two drops of black fire whiskey, and he sings his heart's true tune. He calls father a tyrant, a coward, a traitor. He beseeches the moon maiden to shine upon him once more. Dangerous words. I have told father he will surely silence the mason and make him an example. Meanwhile, the mason draws his heresy. It is all I can do to not mock him to his very face. My own methods used against me. The ale she fed me was poisoned by my own hand. The truth, my truth serum was all too effective. I professed the law. The poison drinks, malice's treatments, the interrogations, all of it. She means to reveal our schemes to the Baldur's Gate Authority, unless, of course, I grace her palm with more gold than Garen Goth could muster. Father would have my head if he knew, or worse yet, donate me to malice. Is Malice the, um, yeah, Malice was the doctor guy. Such is my good fortune that I possess all manner of barrels. She should make a perfect fit. <laughs> The Harpers came too close. They poisoned Father Catherick himself, yet he professes no ill effects. Malice insisted as a fluke, Doctor. He may be, but he is no less a fool for it. Father has achieved that of which I can only dream, immortality. I have long suspected. I can guess Father's purpose, but I cannot fathom the means. So, it sounds like Catherick Thorne maybe wants to become a god, right? Kind of how, I'm just thinking of, um, how the Githyanki, the, uh, lich goddess, you know, um, her name just escapes me because my brain is at empty. Um, but she is like, she's a goddess, but she's like trying to like elevate herself even further, it seems like, or at least maintain where she's at. She has to do that by like sucking the life out of people. Uh, immortality is never an easy thing to do and usually in stories has uh, a heavy price either that you have to pay or that others have to pay for you. So I can only imagine that that is what Kethrick Thorm is after. Or maybe it was promised to him by the Absolute, you know? Punch drunk bastard. Tippler's rage, when you are drunk you have advantage on attack rolls. You, oh, okay, you also create a blast. I mean, it doesn't do very much. <laughs> on serpent venom toxin, let's see. 
you'd like to know something interesting. If you mix suspension of venom fang, when in doubt, when my throat clicks with scream, drip, drip, drip is what I dream. It did not work. The platinum scale plan did not work, and I hurt so badly. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, that's, I'm so glad that I know that now. Go away. I'm trying to see them. Is there always, there's always somebody screaming in the background. This arm, if we can, I don't know. Shadow Hearts. This tiny little person, and we're like, go, Shadow Heart, go. The rest of us are too big. We cannot. Tongue of Ma- Oh, hey, we were gonna need that in the Underdark. Yeah, the tadpole elixir. He served us, but we'll be forgotten soon. Hmm, okay. I was curious if maybe these... It seemed like they maybe had a little bit of something to say about the, uh, the distiller guy being gone. Alright, since we're here, we'll just go out and grab... The... What was that? Not so useless. What? Get back to Master. On the double. Okay, Th thank you. Uh, yeah, apparently that, that, that bird says really nasty things about you. I was playing with my friend the other day. And uh, while the guy is like, you know, oh, they're just, the bird is, like, he's just saying how wonderful you are or whatever. Uh, he's lying. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I hadn't filled out this part. What is, what is even, there's like a whole, what is going on over here? Oh my gosh, what is going on over here? Is there like a whole other thing over here that I just have missed? What the tarnation is going on? I'm like, I feel like I've covered the area pretty well. I have not. Uh, I have not. Spoiler alert. There's just a dirt mound here. I think, yeah. Uh, is this... Oh, Salamander. Corpse Rose. Yeah, this is it. I was like, uh, I just, I didn't even have to look. It was just, I just, I just like moving my mouse around and there was like dirt mound and I was like, sure. Sending you the requested ingredients as per your letter, including the purple worm glands. Like me or see the results of your experiments. Please send me some samples when it's completed. I have a few clients who'd be very interested in the toxic fruit of your labors. Well, I got that. Now I gotta go see what's over here. I could wait. There is just, like, I don't know. Maybe there's actually more up here, too, like, that I just didn't see. Well, I'm going down here. I want to see what's over this way. Like, what's going on? I know there's Githyanki, apparently floating around somewhere. What's in what's in these shabby wooden doors? I don't know, I haven't been in here. <laughs> that scared me. I won't make the same That actually scared me. I think I scared the cat too. He's chilling on the bed. These guys are so beefy. <laughs> Okay, I can actually, okay, I can cast the spell, and it seems like a, this is maybe not a concentration spell, though, um, but I do now have him in an owl bear form, which is beefy. Let's cook with fire, baby. Let's cook with fire, baby. Ooh, Shadow Heart is not very useful on this one. Ooh, she can potentially banish this one. Let's see. Yeah, go dead. Sucks to suck. Oh, what? Let's see if uh, I can't move. Let's go. Car lag. Now nice. there we go. Yeah. Oh, that's unfair. I had this cool like slowing thing beat people down. I need just boosty steps wherever. Ow! Ow! This is not good. Oh no. Form of dread. Listen, two can play up the dread game. Wow. These guys are beating the crap out of me. Let's see if I can't cast fear on people. Yeah, okay, you're frightened at least. I am gonna send him up here to jump on these guys. He has like a potential, yeah, he can like knock people down. 
causing debris to tear through nearby objects and a pebble. Well, I'm gonna just march on him. Wow. What did I kill a character with an unarmed strike? Look at me! I'm not even a monk. Uh well that was really good. Yeah, you need to like hide under here so that the arrow people don't get you. You know, I haven't called the Guardian of Faith yet. Let's see what that does. That woman is trying to shoot me, or that person trying to shoot me through the wall. Trying to shoot Halsey through the wall, anyway. What an idiot. <laughs> Do I get to move this thing? This has been very convenient, honestly. I'm gonna stand right next to this guy. It has like a retaliation thing. She's also blind right now, which is convenient. Oh, when they take damage when they're standing in the aura. That's nice. Um, the Guardian does take damage when it does damage, though, which is interesting. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't target a construct on that. <laughs> Oh, st that's not, that's not cool. I, you guys don't get to heal. I can't control. Why can't I control? It just gets to go wherever it wants. It's like targeting this thing now. Every time, uh, she's got the gloves on that every time she pushes somebody over, it gives her an enhanced armor class. Let's see where she's at. 19, yeah. This character is having a hard time being stuck in the wall. Die. <laughs> good thing I just healed. Oh good, finally freaking knocked her over. Can I freaking pick up my sword? Where did my sword go? There it is. Oh nice. It did disappear itself doing that, but that is okay. Drop bear! Drop bear. Did not quite hit this person though. Yes. Looks like Voss was good for his work. Time for a nap. Ooh. Maybe having them attack me isn't so bad if I get some cool stuff out of it. You cast Mage Hand as a bonus action and you get telekinesis being able to freaking just lift somebody. That's sick. Yeah, add that to where what whole psionic ward armor can i can't give that to Lazo right now off, isn't it? yeah it is time for a nap you no joke royal orders let's see do what i've been asked of you stop the interlopers take back what is mine else your punishment will be severe by order of your queen yay i'm gonna need to look at that armor look at these things there's a veterinarian log in here. Sorry, I got this. I was like, ooh, maybe there's something in here if I put my face in here. Meat yield is written underneath and veterinary log is crossed out. Stallion K3, healthy is stricken through. Uh, butchered, 43 stone. Mary too, healthy is stricken through. Butchered, diseased is stricken through. Butchered, total delivered to the House of Healing Food Stores, 118 stone. <laughs> Yikes. Yoink. This guy is like, Horrifically stuck in the wall. I, I believe that's everybody. Well, that's it. Are you a person? No. Yeah. There's a skeleton. Okay. Are these? Those look like dead people. I was like looking past at the shiny paint in there. Those are dead people. Also, what's? Uh, did I go up here? What is up here? Waypoint discovered. Where? Road to oh that's the road to Baldur's Gate. I should not go that way then. Yeah. Who's out there? Are those gi those are giants? I think. Oh my gosh, that is not that does not bode well. I don't. I mean, I saw the sign earlier that there's like it's like oh yes, Baldur's Gate this way, but I just kind of assumed it would be cut off to me. Maybe I'll save and see what happens. You know. What did we, there was something in camp. I, I want to get Will here quick. But do I, because I might, if I, because I want to, before I go to Moonrise Towers, here's why I think I have to go up 
then I have to find the Kethric Thorm secret. Because if whatever the Kethric Thorm secret is, I think it will be helpful to us when we fight him. And I am assuming we'll be fighting him in Moonrise. So, I think that's why I gotta do that. Actually, really quick, let's wander over. I think I've been silent enough to make this episode a little longer. We're gonna go turn in the ledger. There he is, my true love. God, oh, he's so attractive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Freaking shadow man with a white raven. How could you not, you know? Something's on my mind. The air stirs in trepidation. Alright, that was weird. You have the ledger. Uh, how do you know I have it? The raven always knows. I mean, I know why he wants it. Here. We have it. Her lies. Her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. I mean, she's not Where a hero. She flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her back. Make her suffer. I mean, I am a paladin. I'm just here to make sure. I know I'm an Oathbreaker paladin, and, like, there's convoluted stuff going on. I know I killed those slavers when they were bad. But, like, I don't know. She did choose... Maybe she didn't really have much of a choice in reporting, right? Like, she obviously tried to, like, help them a little bit. She was like, listen, they don't mean it, you know? But, like, in, in the note to the, to the just this year, but, like... Even if she feels really guilty about it, it's still a terrible thing that she did and she still needs to force justice, right? doesn't mean it's not like a complicated issue and that both sides weren't victims in some way, but like, why should she be able to get away when they had to suffer and die because, partly because of her, you know? So, I'm here to make sure she sees justice. There is no justice for traitors, only pain. Yep. That's nice. We would look very good together. This this pairing look very good together. It wouldn't work though. I can tell already. <laughs> yeah, we're all like uh. You. He said I was gonna be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Yeah, well, you still did. Why don't you tell me what happened? I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was gonna chat with She's him. a Dark Just she promised. She's a Dark Justicia! Drunk complaining, why'd you report them? The Dark Justice, you're said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. Oh, uh, like she gave him a dagger each <clears throat> and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back, anything. Uh, so suffer here, like you die, like I mean she's already dead, but to suffer more, you know? I don't know. This is also fascinating, the way they've animated it, like he had his own style of talking, right? But the way she was like speaking and like the way her head was moving and like just like her shoulders, I was like that is obviously a very, very different person. That was really well done, like very well animated to show the distinction between the two. Okay, that's bold. Um, this wasn't your fault. I, it, I mean, I mean, it's not any. Her death isn't gonna bring them back either. But okay, so if this is a justice thing, let me try to think of it as a justice thing. Oh my gosh, though, if she stabbed herself, she would be stabbing him. But he seems to have a thing about pain, so maybe he's used to that kind of thing. Uh, let's try to just, I just say it. You murdered your friends. You're a coward. I don't know what that's gonna do. I don't want to like. I don't want to let her off on it though. Like, 
it was like it, she was again, like I said she was a victim of the situation in many ways but like that doesn't negate what happened because of her actions you know so it's unfair but like that's it's unfair <laughs> it's funny to say it's unfair when you're talking about justice right like that's just how that's just how things are I guess that's how it feels anyway but you murdered your friends you're a coward let's see where that goes oh voice of the circle Oh yeah, I think I have that on me. Can I do both? Oh, the guidance is probably better. Well. The dice gods have decreed itself. You're right. I'm a killer. A monster. I should have died instead. <gasps> I mean, that feels me. That feels not great, but I don't think. Oh, glorious. Oh, good. <laughs> Look, my hands still. Yeah, you got a thing for pain. You broke her most thoroughly. Well done. Uh, we, mm, this was some perverted fantasy of yours. I don't know. He does seem to get off on this. She was punished. That's all that matters. If you are satisfied, then so am I. You have done well. Her pain and anguish were sublime. I will treasure it. All right, it. yep. Here, for your services, should I find another murderer in need of torment, I shall call upon you. Farewell. Listen, you're a weirdo, but I wish you would. Uh. <laughs> um... We gave the ledger, he was pleased. Uh, so, no, I almost feel like this is like a Dexter thing, right? Where he has these, he, he's, he's apparently, I think he mentioned he's beholden to nobody, technically. Like, he's not a part of any assassin organization or anything, you know, or, or, or any sort of organization. He just goes about on his own. So I think he's using the skills he has not to inflict pain upon the innocent, not necessarily because he has a heart, but maybe it's like, it's kind of like, I don't know, how, it's like, it's like Dexter, right? Where like, you're told, okay, you should use these, uh, these things you have that are terrible. If you're going to use them, you should use them in such a way that you don't hurt innocent people. And they're like, okay, I guess, sure, you know, and then they only hurt murderers, you know, and serial killers and other stuff like that, you know, like they... They only hurt bad people. So he's, like, getting off on inflicting pain upon people who deserve it. But still, it's a little weird. Like, almost the definition of voyeurism. Except he's actually kind of being involved in it. Like, he feels it himself. Anyway, it's weird. Summon Quoth the Raven. These, are, these, these gloves are perfect for wearing while thinking about poetry. I get to summon the bird if I want to apparently okay interesting I've heard that he doesn't show back up again which is unfortunate but um Swift as my feet he's at least very me. pretty even if he's an absolute weirdo apparently. <laughs> but yeah I feel a little icky on that but I don't know why does like obviously the souls of the people that she killed we're calling out for her to also suffer. Like, misery loves company. And, like, is it a good thing to, like, facilitate that? Probably not. But, like, is justice broken? Yeah, it is, you know? But, like, did she deserve to just walk away, like, clean? No. I mean, she was dead, obviously. I think he killed her. But, like, she doesn't deserve to, like, spirit away into the afterlife cleanly either. I don't know. You know, they went painfully. She goes painfully. I don't know. It seems harsh and it is harsh but I think that was probably the best way to do it for justice anyway air quotes anyway I am now going to go ahead and call it here thank you so much for joining me really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including my acorn tier patrons thank you so much fame for your support I very much appreciate it and I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support I very much appreciate it as well and I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who I just realized this was the thing I wanted to do at camp was to go do the owlbear thing. Alas, I will go do that 
in the next one. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.